There is not a person in this room that is not constantly up under attack. No matter how blessed you've been, no matter how successful, no matter how accomplished, no matter how healthy, no matter how fruitful you are, somewhere in your life, you are either being attacked or about to be attacked in some area of your life. And God says, I'm going to bless you, but you've got to dress for the battle while you receive the blessing. With every blessing, there is a battle. I would venture to say the greater the blessing, the greater the battle. The enemy would not send that level of battle against you if there were not that level of blessing before you. The level of battle you face is an indication of the level of blessings that you stand to receive. No robber robs an empty house. Nobody holds up a bag lady because she doesn't have anything to steal. If you're up under attack, there's something to be gained. So the Bible says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil, the wiles of the devil, the tactics, the antics of the devil. And then he says, once you get it all on, having done all to stand. See, you got all dressed up not to run. You got dressed up to stand, not to give place or territory to the devil, not to evacuate the turf that's yours. Did you hear that? Not to evacuate the turf that is yours. And he said, if you're going to hold on to what I have given you, because I have given you some things that you are yet to possess, And in order to possess what I've given you, to take it out of the euphoria of an idea and snatch it into the realm of a possession, you're going to have to stand, having done all to stand. That's your willpower, your strength, your might, your intensity, having done all to stand. The first stand belongs to you. You have to do that. Stop asking God to make you stand if you're not willing to stand. You have to have an investment in what God has given you and having done all to stand. You won't get to the second stand until you run out of the first one. Having done all to stand, then it says, stand therefore with your loins girt about with truth. And as he begins to equip us for battle, he comes down to the helmet of salvation. How important is it to protect your head? The enemy comes against your freedom to convince you that you don't have what God has already released you. The Bible calls his attack imaginations. You're being fought by imaginations, shadows and ghosts. Some of you are stressed to death over what ifs and maybes. You've been stabbed by suppose. You lay in the bed wrestling with ghosts of what ifs and maybes and suppose and I think and I heard and I felt and you wake up tired in the morning because you you might have slept but you didn't rest because all in your sleep you've been fighting. Bible says there is a helmet that will protect your head. 